Welcome to my 7th class mathematics Lines and angles L and M are two parallel lines That is written as L is parallel to M And a line intersects the two lines Which is called a transversal N, let this N N is called a transversal Trans, Transversal Then the alternate interior angles are each set of alternate interior angles are equal. These two are called alternate interior angles. So let this be 1. 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So angle 1 is equal to angle 6. Alternate interior angles are equal. This is one set. And angle 4 and angle 5 are another set of alternate interior angles. Therefore, angle 4 is equal to angle 5. Alternate interior angles. L and M are parallel to each other. L is parallel to M. And N is a transversal intersecting the two parallel lines at two different points. Then the angles made by the transversal are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 angles here and 5, 6, 7, 8, another 4 angles here. So each pair of corresponding angles are equal in measure. Corresponding angles means here angle 2 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. They are lying in the same side of the transversal and on the same position of the two parallel lines. So they are above the parallel lines and the left side of the transversal. Therefore angle 2 and angle 5 are two, one pair of corresponding angles. They are equal. And the 3 and the 6, angle 3 and angle 6 are another set of corresponding angles. And 4 and 7, angle 4 is equal to angle 7. This is one set. And angle 1 and angle 8, angle 1 and angle 8, another set of corresponding sides. These two are equal. Therefore, when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, each pair of the corresponding angles are equal. Angle 2 is equal to angle 5, angle 1 is equal to angle 8, angle 3 is equal to angle 6, angle 4 is equal to angle 7. This is one rule. Corresponding angles, each pair of corresponding angles are equal. Corresponding angles are equal. Next, number two. <coughs> each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. One, four, five, six are interior angles. And alternate interior ang angles means 1 and 6 are one set of alternate interior angles. 4 and 5 are another set of alternate interior angles. Therefore, alternate, alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal 1. Angle 1 is equal to angle 6. Also, angle 4 is equal to angle 5. So when two parallel lines intersect, uh, intersected by a transversal, the alternate interior angles are equal. Each pair of alternate interior angles are equal. Then, then the third rule is, when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, the interior angles lying on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. The interior angles lying on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Supplementary angles means the sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degree. The interior angles lying on the same side are angle 4 and angle 6, one pair, and angle 1 and angle 5 are another pair. Therefore, angle 4 and angle 6 are supplementary. Supplementary means angle 4 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, angle 1 and angle 5 are supplementary or angle 1 
plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, these are the three rules for the angles made by a transversal when intersect two parallel lines L and M. So, corresponding angles are equal. Alternate interior angles are equal. The angles, uh, interior angles lying on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. Now, check whether these two lines are parallel to each other. And this angle is given as a 35 degrees and this is also given as 35 degrees. So, these two lines are parallel because alternate interior angles are equal. And also, there are two lines and a transversal in intersecting. And we can prove that these two lines are parallel if the measures of this angle and this angle are equal. If we measure these two angles and they are come out equal to each other, then we can say that these two lines are equal. Because when a transversal intersects two parallel lines, uh, the alternate interior angles are equal. Here L and M are two parallel lines. L is parallel to M and this is a transversal. So 60 degrees and X are alternate interior angles. Therefore when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then the alternate interior angles are equal. Therefore X is equal to 60 degrees. Okay. Next. Here A and B are two parallel lines. A is parallel to B. And this is 55 degrees and this is angle Y. These two are also alternate interior angles because this is a transversal. Therefore, these two are interior angles and they are in alternate opposite sides. Therefore, these two are alternate interior angles. Therefore, alternate interior angles are equal. Therefore, Y is equal to 55 degrees. Here, L1 and L2 are not parallel to each other. T, L1 is not parallel to L2. T is a transversal. Here, 1 and 2 angles, 1 and 2 are alternate interior angles, but they are not equal. Therefore, angle 1 is not equal to angle 2. Here, L and M are two parallel lines. L is parallel to M. And T is a transversal. Here, 60 degrees and Z are the angles, interior angles lying on the same side. So, the interior angles lying on the same side are supplementary angles. When, when a transversal intersect a pair of parallel lines, the interior angles lying on the same side are supplementary. That means the sum of those two angles is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, Z is equal to 180 minus 60. 180 minus 60 is equal to 120. Therefore, Z is equal to 120 degrees. Here, line L and M are parallel to each other. L is parallel to M. Also, P is parallel to Q. P is parallel to Q. Find angles A, B, C, D. This angle is given. So, 60 degrees is a supplement to A because if L is a transversal, L is a line intersecting the parallel lines P and Q at different points. Therefore, L is transversal to the two, a pair of parallel lines. Therefore, these two interior angles lying on the same side are supplementary angles. Therefore, 60 plus A is equal to 180 degrees or A is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 is equal to 120 degrees. A is equal to 120 degrees. 60 degrees, alternate interior angles, 60 degrees. Therefore, P is equal to 60 degrees. 60 and B are corresponding angles because they are lying on one side of the transversal. Let Q be the transversal for the lines L and M which are parallel to each other. Therefore, 60 and B lying on the same side, corresponding side. Therefore, corresponding angles are 
equal for 60 is equal to b or b is equal to 60 degrees b is equal to 60 c is a alternate angles alternate integer angles for these two parallel lines and q is a transversal 60 and c are alternate interior angles therefore c is equal to 60 degrees alternate integer angles next um, for uh, these two when we consider l and m parallel lines d and this angle this angle and d are corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal so these two are uh, sum of these two are 180 and this is 120 therefore d is equal to 120 corresponding angles are equal as this is 120 d is also equal to 120 so thus we can find the uh, a b c d a is equal to 120 degrees a b is equal to 60 degrees corresponding angle and uh, c is equal to 60 degrees alternate interior angles and uh, d is equal to 120 degrees corresponding angles let's see this figure l and m are two parallel lines l is parallel to m and t is a transversal and these angle is 120 degrees and find the x see observing these two these two angles are lying on the same side of the transversal and on the same side upside to the both two parallel lines therefore they are called corresponding angles corresponding angles are equal a pair of corresponding angles are equal therefore 120 degrees is equal to x or x is equal to 120 degrees 120 degrees